sometimes I wish that my eyebrows were 100% Armenian, stretching the entire length of my face without break, separating the waters above from civilization below. That would have been quite handy. Speaking of borders, we're here at Hadrian's Wall. First century Roman wall stretching all the way across England. Made of stone and turf. And I can't help but think about what John Ruskin said about North and South. But Ruskin, I disagree. For I have seen the variegated mosaic of landscape which only a bird sees in its migration. I have seen it. I have seen the separation of West and West as well, between England and its spin-off TV show, America. I have seen the separation between Eastern and Western Christianity, and I also disagree with you there, Ruskin. Ruskin who champions Gothic architecture in its grotesque gargoyles and its praise of nature in all its beautiful and ingenious forms which man can riff on. But you miss the point in your love of form. Have you ever looked at a Russian icon? Have you looked at it? What you'll see is it looking right back at you. Therein lies the difference between Byzantine and Gothic. When you look into the eyes of a painted icon, you don't see its substance or form. Rather, you see it looking back at you and the substance of the interaction is engaged. It is the vision, the crossing of the gazes. And it is precisely in this crossing of gazes in which we can finally rise above or not rise above, but be enhanced by materiality into something which is more akin to love when a mother looks at her child. How can you reduce that to a form? It is a space in between two eyes. And this is what I know, Ruskin. This is what I hope to see. These are the visions which we long for.